It's learning through doing. It's basically giving kids authentic ways to learn. It really brings learning to life. Sixth grade learners at Crestview School of Inquiry have teamed up with the City of Clive in revitalizing Linnaean Park. For city officials, it was a no-brainer to partner with students. Very specifically, in this situation, we want them to be change agents for their neighborhood. We want them to have a real intentional look at what their park could be, what their school could be. The collaboration comes as part of the city's 86th Street Neighborhood Plan, a master guide that helps lead community conversations through Clive's policies, regulations, and capital investments. Crestview is part of the project-based learning network, which embraces an engaging and rigorous instruction based on project and problem-based learning, a collaborative culture promoting trust, respect, and responsibility, and technology that enhances learning. It's kind of cool because, like, we're shaping our ideas off what actual people in the community want. What I was most excited about was that we were going to be able to work with the city of Clive because we haven't done a lot of projects like that before. And we were going to be redesigning a park that we go to. I think it means a lot for them to like choose us and not other schools because it's like there's many other schools they could have chose from, but they chose us and it's just really special to me. Students and teachers toured the park and enjoyed the area themselves. Together, the city and school have collaborated virtually through a digital workspace. The teachers and students at Crestview have been really great in adapting to this virtual climate we're in. And we're using a really neat tool called Mural. It's like an online whiteboard where students can place things virtually and move them around. It's very interactive, so multiple students can be working at the same time. And that really allows either the students who are working, doing their work from home, students in the classroom, people who can't be together in the same space, to really still collaborate. Um, and we're really excited to see all the outputs that that, that, uh, that tool is going to provide for us. Recently, the three classrooms created a public survey to gather feedback about the park. Nearly 200 responses came from fellow students and their families. And one of the first things we figured out is, um, like, the sixth graders have a lot of ideas about what they want, but we started to realize that it's not all about what we want. So they realized quickly that we need to probably get some information from other people. So we're back into the data right now, actually, just this week we came back into it and we're really kind of, like, analyzing it even, even more closely, um, looking at the charts we got and saying, okay, well, what, what is the information we can actually use to prove that we might need these amenities at this park or that this might draw more people to the park? This really becomes the, the reason and the, the motivation for the learning that happens. So it's not just about those academic standards, it's really about those essential life skills that help us to work with one another. When you think about jobs in our community, it's about people working together, people giving and taking, um, problem solving together with other people. Um, and so we really try to embed those skills into the projects that we do. Students really get to, to have an opportunity to have a say and to make a difference and to look for problems in their community and try to address them. In the coming weeks, students will present their findings to city officials and pitch their recommendations. And while students all said the project was fun, it was also one they've never before experienced. It's been exciting, definitely exciting. It's been fun to work with classmates and basically help the community. I definitely enjoy working with the City of Clive because this is one of the few projects that I've been able to do while I've been here that we've actually, that my group has actually been able to make, to do something that people will remember. It's been like exciting. I've never got to like work a project like this. I've learned that I like, I actually like designing, like figuring out what would like go in this spot and why we, why we should put it in this spot because now that I've actually developed that trait I've been thinking that that's actually what I want to do in the future because that's really fun for me. And for educators and city officials alike this is what learning is all about. As we've noticed with the times like this we need people to step up and, and lead in, in rough times and if these kids can recognize during this crazy year that they can step up and actually do something and that's something you carry what they can carry with them for the rest of their lives and the fact that they're even self-aware that you know what wow I, I can take a, a role in what's going on that's huge those skills just transfer to anything you want to do is being able to take that risk make a mistake 
and then learn from it and keep on rolling. It, it makes me excited that it helps kids really take ownership in what they're doing, but also then to reach out to others and share their learning with other people, um, or to realize they can step up in their community too. A lot of them have mentioned to me that they feel like as a sixth grader, they're not old enough to do that just yet, um, but they're realizing that the community has actually reached out to them now and wants to know what they think, what they feel, and that that's important. So that's been great for kids to um, kind of step up and see themselves in a different light. And I chose to come to Crestview for this specifically um, because I believe in project-based learning. Like I think that it's just something that really can change the game for a lot of kids and, and can also like level the playing field for a lot of kids. Uh, this is a great model project for us that hopefully we can replicate in, in future years. This neighborhood represents Clyde's most diverse neighborhood with a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds. And we're excited that by being able to work with the school and the kids within that school, that we're getting voices heard and brought into the process that typically aren't brought into a process like that. These projects check all the boxes on what great public education needs to deliver. Skills, knowledge, citizenship, care for others, appreciation of difference, I can see all of that present in this project and I can't wait for the next one that we're going to be able to do with the West Moines School District.